Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of Werewolf by Night. Not the comic, but the live action movie that came out um, a couple of days ago or something like that. Maybe a day or so ago. Um, and this is based on the, supposed to be based on the Werewolf by Night comics, but it's more of like in the spirit of the comics. So because it's October, we're going to get a lot of like Halloween themed kind of um, movies and shows and comics. Um, I know that there's a couple that are coming out this week coming up. So definitely um, something that people are going to enjoy. Uh, it is a bad month for things that are not horror-centric. Uh, I got a feeling that Halloween Ends is going to do really well because it is during October. And people like scary things during the month of October. So, Werewolf by Night is basically about... And this is going to be spoilers, so if you have not watched it... Please do not continue with this video until you've actually watched it. Um, so, yeah. So, the head of the Blackstone family has died. And basically, the hunt decides who is going to lead the Blackstone um, clan or organization, we're going to call it. So, um, before I continue with it, uh, I first encountered... Um, Werewolf by Night, I got this um, Moon Knight set that had these comics in it. And the first one, of course, was Werewolf by Night, which is supposed to be the first appearance of Moon Knight. Now, Moon Knight is not in this, in this movie. Why he's not in this movie, I don't know. I guess the actor who plays him is, I think he might be busy filming season two of Moon Knight because I've been... I heard rumors that Moon Knight got renewed for a second season. I don't know. He could be doing another movie. I don't know. But he's not in this particular one. So, basically, in the comic, uh, Moon Knight has to capture Werewolf by Night to get this reward. Uh, but actually, he's doing... Actually, has another reason why he's doing it. But in this one, Blackstone, the head of the Blackstone family has died. And it was supposed to go to one of his daughters, but unfortunately, according to her father, she disappointed him. So she comes to the uh, little thing, and literally, literally, the first thing that her mother mentions is basically how much of a disappointment she is. Wow, mom, that's really nice to say that about your own child. Lovely. You are, you're the mother of the year. So you have all these hunters, and basically they are trying to hunt down this beast. And if they get it, there's the Bloodstone amulet is there. If they get it, they become the new head of the Blacks, the Bloodstone family, or the Bloodstone clan, or something like that. And so what ends up happening is you have all these different characters. You have this Asian guy. You have this guy that looks like he comes out of an episode of Vikings. You got this guy that looks like the, he's eaten way too much keto. <laughs> Where I get that from is I had a customers that came in and they look like walking skeleton. They look like him. Like he is like, look like he hasn't eaten in like 800 years or something like that. And then, of course, there is Jack who actually, uh, who we, of course, we all know from the comics, is actually Werewolf by Night. Um, and that's what they, you know, call him. And he has a family curse. So the Bloodstone amulet is actually responsible, I, from what I'm getting, from the reason that their family is cursed. But actually, what it is, is that... Um, his family was, his uh, ancestor was bitten by a werewolf that was under the control of Count Dracula. It's very, very horrific. And so, basically, he has to, basically, he becomes this monster once a month. But the thing is, he's not supposed to change for five days. Well, 
the bloodstone amulet causes instant transformation, or at least as instant as movie <laughs> technology can make it. And when basically they discover that Jack is a monster, they lock him up in a cage. And what better way to get rid of your disappointed daughter but to lock her in the cage with him? Yes, there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, sibling death, <laughs> at least as far as I know of. Um, and so, yeah, I mean that's how you get rid of your child. Have the child be killed by a werewolf or by a monster. So he transforms into the werewolf because he's hit repeatedly with the bloodstone amulet. And before he did it, he imp he basically uh, got an imprint of her scent, and that kept him from actually killing her. And and of course, the uh, death that is the name of the creature they were hunting. Uh, that's actually his name, not what he is. Uh, he goes and he's like, he, you know, he gets his butt saved by his friend and he comes back and she's like, yeah, he went that way. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, he went over there. He went over there. So, yeah, so her mother, of course, gets killed. So does all the hunters get killed, except for this guy that he's like, he just turns the crank. Um... All security guards get killed. It's just a bloodbath. And it's just like, the blood just comes at you at the screen. It's like, oh my God, did they have to do this? And she becomes the head of the family. Um, which is, yeah. Um, and she's uh, actually a lot better. And, uh, you know, she's like, he's like, what should I do first? Well, clean us up. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, he gets his friend out. He slaughters this clan except for one person. And yeah, he comes to and uh, there's a pot of coffee. I don't know if Death made it or maybe Moon Knight appeared and he made it. I don't know. But uh, he ends up far away from all that trouble. And I don't know if this means that he will transform again. But uh, yeah, buddies help each other out. And he's like, I rescued you. So he like reminds us, yes, I turned into this really horrendous monster, but I saved you because we're friends. And that's what friends do. Friends save each other from death. <laughs> Just, yeah, they're good buddies. They're good buddies. So overall, what did I think of the movie? It was awesome and definitely, definitely in the spirit of Halloween and monsters and all that stuff. And it's just so nice to see something different and fresh and new uh, coming from Marvel. Um, it's just a long time coming. And it's just classic movie monster. I just love it. You can tell that Feige really loves his um, horror movies and everything. Um, you know, he doesn't do like the, like, you know, with the whole thing with the snout and stuff. That was fine. I'm fine with that. I mean, heck, the, uh, the, the Wolfman had the same kind of, uh, effect. And he was great. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed, I had been really looking forward to this movie for several weeks. Ever since I saw the trailer drop for it. It definitely did not disappoint. I was so glad the bitch got what was coming to her. Because she, I... What, who, what mother locks her daughter up with a guy that's about to turn into a raging beast or whatever he was supposed to be at the time? I, yeah. So, yeah, the bitch got what was coming to her. Everyone got what was coming to him um, and everything. And I'm really glad his plan worked. You know, you know, his plan was that he would, he would, the, her scent would imprint on him and that way he would not kill her. And I'm really glad that his plan worked. And it was really amazing. It was in all in black and white except for the last maybe four or five minutes of the movie when it all bled into color. And her jacket was absolutely beautiful. I loved it. And, um, yeah, so Werewolf, Werewolf by Night, definitely watch it. It is a great movie. And I give it five stars. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to end it here. And if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification bell. I don't say it all the time because I think at this point you guys know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, I will be uh, probably 
uh, Tuesday, I'll probably binge watch the two episodes of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, um, because I just, you know, I, I just wanted to kind of, I don't know, take a break from watching TV shows and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I will see you guys around until next time. Nerds, read on. Bye.